Hello all, here's a presentation on how to use eSign 3.0. eSign 3.0 is one of the new methodology for digitally signing your documents published by Government of India that is legally valid as per IT Act and in compliance with the Supreme Court judgment on Aadhaar in India. The new user enrollment is an easy two-step process. The new users have to open an account with us as part of the onboarding journey. eSign can be used by individuals to either sign their own documents or on behalf of any organization. They can sign up directly on eSign.emutra.com. The new users have to go through a one-time KYC enrollment and it is valid for two years. During this period, you can use this to sign any number of documents as required. The first step is completing a digital enrollment process, which could be completed by uploading few proof of identity and proof of address documents, followed by setting a user ID and PIN that could be used to sign the documents. Once your new user account is approved, which is almost done in near real time basis, you can use the same login to eSign portal. As a use case, eSign could be used in your organization to enable a complete paperless transformation, eliminating paper, and assisting a lot of workflows in areas such as finance, HR, etc. Support for multiple eKYC enrollment. eSign supports three different types of KYC. The first one is PAN-based KYC, where you can use PAN card to enroll. Second one is the ATAR KYC. Offline ATAR is available on the UIDAI's website where you can enter ATAR details, number, and use one-time password to download a file on your computer to do the KYC. The third methodology is bank KYC, which is set by the banks themselves. Currently, this facility is open with the banks only. In PAN KYC and offline KYC of ATAR, Proof of identity and proof of address needs to be supplemented with a video recording for 30 seconds, whereas a bank KYC doesn't require video recording. Once these come to eMudra, they are processed on a round-the-clock queue and enrollments are usually approved within 30 minutes. Within this time, the user gets the credential and they can start signing the documents. Now, using and integrating eSign. There are two different types of integration. One is for the individuals or individuals signing on behalf of the organization with its pricing model and the applications that can get documents signed as part of the workflow. Both come ready with APIs and kits so that they can be integrated in less than one hour's time. eSign enrollment is completely free of charge. Individuals can self-enroll directly on eMudra's website and start using eSign. Commercials are involved only for documents such as invoices, purchase orders, investment declaration forms such as 12B or internal approvals. User-based pricing for individuals start at 500 rupees per user per year. For organization, there's a transaction-based pricing of five rupees per transaction. For applications such as customer onboarding, HRMS, CRM, SAP, or Salesforce where signing is mandated, as part of workflow eMudra provides a provision of a gateway which works similar to a payment gateway. This can be integrated with your application in less than one hour. This integrated gateway configured to your application can be used to send the documents to the authorized signatories as part of the workflow. The enrollment process is also built into the signing workflow and the commercials applicable are based on transaction which are priced at 5 INR per transaction. Now, let's explore some use cases. As you can see, the eSign is a legally valid digital signature under the Digital Information Act in India and could be used to eliminate paper and any process that requires to be signed in an organization where there could be multiple such workflows. Let's take an example of a banking or a financial or a services industry where the onboarding process could be digitized or employees need to sign documents such as an investment declaration or if your legal department 
deals with the contract with vendors, subcontractors, or various other parties can make use of this e-sign. The e-sign could be used as a part of their procurement activities, automation processes, vendor workflows, etc. Finally, e-sign can also be used to sign internal approval memos, claims reimbursements, or approval for release of budget. e-sign can also be used to automate any process within your organization or outside while making them completely paperless. Log in to esign.e-mudra.com. Here, you can enroll as an individual or as an organization based on your needs. Once you click on Enroll as an individual, you'll be navigated to a user account creation form. Here, we are enrolling with PAN-based KYC enrollment. We have also covered author-based enrollment in another video. Now, select using PAN radio button and fill in your details. If you wish to know more about each field, you can mouse over the question mark. These options will help you fill the details. For your ease of reference, we have filled in the user account creation form with valid details. Now, click on proceed to verify. On clicking proceed, you'll be required to verify user account information that I just filled in. In the next step, you'll be required to submit a video for verification once you click on the Submit for Verification button. Here, you will see some of the instructions before you record the video. So before you proceed, please make sure you have all the original documents required for the video. Once you're ready with the above documents, please proceed for video recording as per the below instructions sequentially. Once you read through all the instructions, click on OK to proceed. Now, click the Start Recording button and answer the questions that come henceforth. Here, you are required to spell out your name. Click on Next. Here, you are required to spell out your date of birth. Now, display your original PAN card in front of the camera and click on Next. Also, display your original address proof in front of the camera. Now, you'll get a notification saying, your video recording is finished and the processing happens in the background. If you wish to view your recording, click on Preview. If you wish to record again, you can click on Record again or if you wish to submit, please click on Submit. Now you will see that your video recording is successfully submitted. After submitting the video verification, our team will approve your account based on the identity proof that you have provided. After account activation, you will receive a notification either on your email or phone as an SMS. Log into your account using eSign ID password using your OTP. To sign your documents, click on Upload and eSign option on the left hand side of the panel. Select the file which you want to sign and enter the CAPTCHA. Click on Proceed or eSign. You can preview the document in this pane and drag and drop the signature position. On the right hand side of the panel, enter location and reason. Now click on Perform eSign. Here you'll be prompted to provide PIN and OTP once again. Click on the checkbox and perform eSign. If you wish to see your eSign document, click on download signed PDF. Open the file to verify. Thank you for watching the video.